Dear student, welcome to my channel. Topic of this video is Introduction to Statistics under Quantitative Analysis. In this video, I am going to present five parts of Introduction to Statistics. First part is already covered in previous video. In this video, I am going to cover Statistical Data Classification topic. Let us start. What is mean by classification? It helps in classifying or arranging data into homogeneous group based on common features. Raw data is unsuitable for further analysis and interpretation since it cannot readily understood. This arrangement of data helps user in comparison and analysis. Fundamental data is simple to locate and recover with the help of prepared data analysis system. What level of detail and techniques the organization will use to classify the data should be specified in written procedure and set of guidelines of the company. For example, a town population can be divided based on which type of group, maybe gender, age, marital status or all types. Objectives of data classification To compile the volume of data in a way that makes it easy to reconcile similarities and differences as a comparative tool, to quickly highlight the data's most important aspect, to emphasize the important information gathered while eliminating the irrelevant information, to enable the analysis of the collected data in a statistical manner. Types of classification There are four types of classification. First is geographical classification. As its name indicates, it's area-wise, example cities, district, country, etc. Chronological classification that is on the basis of time, qualitative classification according to nominal and ordinal attributes, quantitative classification in terms of interval and ratio scale variable. First, geographical classification. It is area wise. Geographical classification is a process of categorizing the data with reference to specific geographic areas such as countries, states, town, district, etc. It is also referred as a special classification. For example, information on rice, wheat and sugar cane production in India's four main areas can be presented. For convenience of reference, geographic classification is typically listed in alphabetical order. Now see the example, classification of branch wise student, four branches are mentioned and they are arranged in alphabetical order. CS, ECS, EXTC, IT and their respective students are presented. Second is chronological classification. The classification of data is referred to as chronological classification when it is observed over a period of time. So time is important parameter and based on time they make the classification. See this example here the five years are mentioned from 2080 to 2022 and the sales is represented in crore. A reverse time order may be used when the current events are in the main focus. Uh, generally, it is preference that whether you want to start with the latest era, years or the previous years. Quantitative classification. It describes how data is organized according to certain qualities that can be quantified numerically such as height, weight, income, age and sales. For example, the annual income of employee of ABC company may be classified according to their pay scale. This income variable is quantitative in nature and that right hand side is nothing but the name, number of employees who are having that particular annual income. Frequency distribution is generated by quantitative classification. Continuous data are obtained through measurements while discontinuous data are obtained through counting. See the example of discrete variable and continuous variable. Here the number of children are discrete in nature. Number of children and that number of children present in how many number of families. This is nothing but the frequency distribution and it is for the discrete type of data. And in second the example is given of weight. For weight that how many number of persons are present in that category. So here the range is there so that's why it is called continuous and here it is a discrete. So we can do counting and here we require to take the measurement. Qualitative classification. Data are classified on the basis of some attributes. Qualitative attributes such as gender, color of hair, 
literacy, religion, etc. These attributes cannot be measured quantitatively. Classification comes under two categories, simple and manifold table, that is nothing but complex table. For example, in case of color blindness, we may find out how many persons are color blind in given population, but it is not possible to measure the degree of color blindness in each case. For example, this is the example of simple classification and manifold classification. For example, population is divided into only two categories based on gender that is male and female and in manifold classification, the number of features are more. So, first population is divided into male and female and again male is divided into literate, illiterate and again they are going for employed and unemployed and similarly for the female. Next topic is frequency distribution. When observations, either they may be discrete or continuous, available on single characteristics of large number of individuals, it becomes necessary to condense the data as far as possible without losing any information of interest. Let us look at the grades of 30 students chosen at random from a certain class. 30, uh, uh, 30 data points are there. Now representation of the data by this approach is very poor choice because it is a continuous long run of data. Better choice, better choice is to represent the data in the following form. Here we make the table with three columns. First mark of students, then we count, then it is represented by tally marks. You already did all these things in your higher secondary, then frequency. So here frequency 4, that's why tally mark is 4. So we require to create the table like this. This is for the discrete data and on the next slide the example is for continuous data in which the parameter that is variable quantitative variable is height. So this is the height from 120 with an interval of 10, 120 to 130 to 170 to 180 and these frequencies are present and which is counted from the data by using tally marks. This is the example for the continuous data. So in which we make the frequency distribution table for continuous as well as discrete data. Relative frequency distribution. A relative frequency corresponding to class is the ratio of the frequency to the total frequency. Now in this example, total 60 students are there and their marks are taken in the range that is 0 to 10, 10 to 20, to 70 to 80. After that, it is represented with initially frequency so for all classes frequency is given 1 2 3 7 11 22 12 and 2 so total number of stones are 60 to calculate the relative frequency we required to divide by the total number of students so 1 divided by 60.02 and when we multiply we get the percentage so when we count all relative frequency we are getting the sum 1 because all are normalized between 0 to 1 and when we add the percentage, we are getting the 100. Next is cumulative frequency distribution. The cumulative frequency of class is the total of all the frequencies up to and including that class. A cumulative frequency distribution is a frequency distribution which shows the observation less than or more than specific value of the variable. Now, first we will take the example for mark less than time. This is the upper limit and by mistake it is less than but it is actually more than. Now here what we require to do, we require to take the cumulative sum. So when we take in terms of interval, we take always the higher interval. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 17, 80 and when we take the cumulative frequency, 1 we will keep as it is. After that 1 plus 2 is 3, 3 plus 3 is 6, 6 plus 7 is 13. In this way we calculate. Now more than here we take always the lower limit. So lower limit is 0 then lower limit is 10. In this way we are taking the lower limit and for cumulative frequency we initially start with the 60. Then after that 60 minus 1 is 59. 59 and minus 2 is 57. 57 minus 3 is 54. 57 minus 7 is 47. So in this way we continue. So generally we use increasing order. But uh, when we plot the olive charts, then we are using for less than and more than values. Bivariate or two-way frequency distribution. 
a two way table is a weight is a table to display frequency or relative frequency for two categorical variables one category is represented by rows and second category is represented by columns so here the information given on the cricket football hockey and which is represented by male and female so such type of distribution can be used in joint probability or to calculate the joint probability so this is the uh, representation of two categorical variables with their various combinations commonly used terms in frequency distribution class limit for example if we take that class 10 to 20 the lowest value is 10 and highest is 20 class interval is nothing but the uh, difference between them so if we take the class interval 10 to 20 say the difference is 10 range of the data difference between the lower class limit of the first class interval and the upper class limit of the last class interval then class frequency that is nothing but the number of observation that is present then midpoint or class mark it is nothing but the midway between the lower and upper class limits for that class interval so we will just see the example with which all things gets clear now this is a table for 120 to 130 class interval the class limit 120 is lower 130 is upper class interval is 130 minus 120 is 10 class midpoint or mark is half of the 120 plus 130 which is 125 now here the range of data may be for class interval and maybe for the actual data that is frequency so range of the data for class interval is 120 minus 180 because maximum limit is 180 and the first class lower limit is 120 therefore it is 120 180 minus 120 which is equal to 60 range of data for frequency for example highest observation is 175 and the lowest observation is 124 in our data set so we can take the range is nothing but the difference between the 174 minus 124 according to class interval then again two methods of classification that is exclusive and inclusive method exclusive method value of upper limit of class is included in the lower limit of the next class interval exclusive series is useful when the value is complete number or in decimals this method is widely followed in practice in the following example there are 14 students who have secured the marks between 0 to 50 a student who secured 20 marks would be included in the class of 20 to 30 but not in 10 to 20 this is the example of uh, this is the representation of the exclusive method here marks are mentioned as 0 to 10 10 to 20 to 40 to 50 interval is taken and here if 10 marks are not included here but it is included new to 10 to 20 so therefore 0 9 is included in the first portion then 10 11 and 19 is included in the 10 to 20 range so this is the simplest way and we generally follow in statistics the exclusive method because we are getting that proper class interval of the number next is the inclusive method the higher limit of the previous class does not contain the lower limit of the current class the higher limit of the previous class is for example 9 it is not contained in the lower limit of the next class so this second interval is not going to start with 9 it is going to start with 10 so the difference is there that comes under the inclusive method for the same example we plot the we draw the table of marks and frequency conversion from inclusive to exclusive this conversion is also very simple what we require to take that is for example upper limit of this interval is 899 and the lower limit of this second next interval is 900 we require to take the difference and we require to take the half of that difference and we subtract here that difference and we add here this difference for example the difference between the 899 and 900 is 1 that half is 0.5 so what we are doing we are subtracting 0.5 from 800 and we are adding 0.5 to 899 so when we do this the inclusive table is it's converted to exclusive and here whatever that range we are getting the proper so before adjustment the class interval was 99 but after the adjustment it is 100 so it is better for calculation also now this is the example shown and it is very easy to understand that is for example 9.5 and 10 so difference is 0.5 half of the average is half of the difference is 0 0.25 so we subtract 0 0.25 from the first and we add the 0 0.25 in the next so in this way 
these are the other examples you can easily check the answer of this example thank you